DOS. We haven't discussed about DOS, right? What do you understand about DOS? So here attacker will do what? Like, you know, uh, he will try to make your machine or your network resources unavailable, right? For its yes. genuine users. So like, if you talk about DOS, so, you know, we have those which we have discussed. We had a, uh, you know, main security pillars of cybersecurity, CIA. Remember CIA tried? Out of these three pillars, which one do you think will be your your DOS attack will be pointing or targeting? So yeah. it will be as as I've mentioned in the definition, right? Let it will be making your machine or your network resources unavailable for its genuine users, right? Either temporary or for an indefinite time period. So uh, the RF service, you can see your DOS, it is accomplished by flooding the targeted machine or its resources, you know, by sending as you mentioned excessive or multiple requests right so that we can like you know we are attempting to overload that system right and we are trying to prevent or uh, like some or you can say all the genuine requests which are going towards that particular machine or network right so i'm trying to block them right i'm trying to prevent those uh, requests which are being sent from a genuine users I'm trying to prevent those requests from getting fulfilled by sending or by flooding flooding the uh, you know the target machine or the network resources right by sending lots of lots of amount of uh, requests to them okay, so that's your DOS right so here we attack you can say availability of a system at a particular website you can say so what attackers they do they try their best to hack a particular website if they are able to hack it good right but if they are unable to hack it they or they couldn't get past those in inline defenses what attackers generally tend to do is they tend to bring down the whole website so either they should be able to attack it or they simply bring down the website right so uh, they bring down the website on the basis of you can see your dos denial of service so it also comes in your multiple variants we send a lot of requests from one single source so you know we have dos right where we are sending a lot of requests from one single source we have your ddos do you know what is ddos what do you understand about distributed denial of services from multiple sources to one destination so see distribute uh in distributed denial of service we are sending lots and lots of requests from multiple sources right so you are not relying on one single source right we are not relying on one single source you are relying on multiple sources over there like which are sending that uh, loads and loads of requests so that is a distributed denial of service so let's say we are like you know plenty of 15 20 people here in the you know group for example and like what if you all 15 20 people make different different requests in order to bring a particular website down right so that will be a distributed denial of service so uh there are some categories of this attack basically if it is of DOS or DDoS attack, they are like first is your volumetric, another one is your protocol based, and third is your application. Here. So what happens in this one is uh, in volumetric based attack, your attacker's objective is to, you know, uh, like here they are flooding the bandwidth of the target network. Okay, they are flooding the bandwidth. Let's say flood the bandwidth of the target network by sending your icmp or you can say you know tcp traffic in bits per second okay it is calculating now bits per second where is a protocol based attack is what in this kind of attack you know the attackers they will be focusing on their target server by sending target server resources basically they will be focusing on target server resources by sending your uh you can say packets such as your uh TCP sin flood, your ping of death you might have heard about, so that it will be uh, your server will be unresponsive basically. Then we have uh, like not just ping of death, you can say uh, we do have your this 
uh, you might have heard about that sin flood attack basically sin flood attack where we send out of sin request you can say right try to consume in the resources of the server like uh you can say you might have heard about this uh see you know in server we have a state table basically state table means if sin packets come in like you know if there is any sin packet which came in into your server it has a state table where it will be waiting for synac and then it will be sending an acknowledgement in return and then it will be keeping a record of it in that table so it's a state so what attacker will do he will be sending a sin to this particular server your target server and in response to that sin will your server send synac attacker is sending a sin request to its target server right he send a sin request so will your server send synac in return to that attacker so let's suppose this is my server so if attacker is sending a sin request for normal process it will be sending you synac correct perfect that's fine with me right, as of now if server sends a synac will the server now will wait for an acknowledgement so right now uh, uh, connection is not established what i'm trying to say is a first send a sin right he sent sin in return to that sin your server which is your b currently consider server equals equals to b okay now into sin your server will be replying back with synac right now a will be sending acknowledgement in return to b right which is a server what i'm trying to ask is right now server is waiting for acknowledgement correct so what i'm trying to say is uh since the server will be waiting for acknowledgement in return right so what if i say that attacker is sending a sin packet with a spoof ip right spoof ip as in a fake ip you can say right and that'd be like let's suppose a random one like 172.10.10.1 something like that uh since he is sending it from a spoof ip right for server this will be the source ip of a correct perfect but in reality it is a spoof ip right but still like if i send i spoof the ip i'm sending sin server will be replying back with synac and he'll be waiting for acknowledgement in return but in reality does this ip exist you can say since this ip does not really uh, exist in reality will the server ever receive an acknowledgement so since this server will not uh, will not receive the acknowledgement in return so you know basically this is a normal working right since in i can uh, acknowledgement in return that is working of your particular server so uh, you can say the one thing is since i am spoofing the ip and i am sending a sin in which i am getting a return of synac and then again server is waiting for an acknowledgement which he will never receive right what if I, if i'm sending this same request from multiple spoofed ips now will your server will be waiting for multiple acknowledgement in return he, but he will be waiting right he will never get it but he will be waiting for them correct so since i'm sending multiple sin requests from multiple spoof ips your server will be consuming its own resources in order to wait for the acknowledgement in return which they will never get so right now did i consume resources of b or your server i'm consuming their resources right by sending sin request from ip now since i'm consuming and uh, you know all the uh, server's resources in waiting for the acknowledgement so what i'm doing i'm playing with the state table over here i'm playing with the state table in order to bring that particular server down okay then we have uh, you can say uh, application layer attack so rather than attempt to you know uh, bringing down the whole so attacker will be so rather than going for the server attacker will be focusing you know attacking on some running application by sending multiple requests per second okay so like for example your wordpress you know joomla web servers multiple are there so in uh, dos we have one more terminology which is your dr dos distributed denial of service distributed reflected denial of service okay now see what will happen over here uh now what attacker will be doing uh he want to dos attack this primary target what so he, what he will do he will be hacking these systems okay 
attacker will be hacking these systems okay and now using these system attacker will be trying to dos attack on its primary target make sense attacker will be hacking these victims or these machines and through these machines he will be doing the dos attack on the primary target not for my target for my primary target who is doing the dos attack so for my primary target the attackers will be my uh victim one so this thing which you can see over here this thing is known as your uh dr dos distributed reflected denial of service when i talk about these systems okay these are something which are known as your c and c attacker is commanding and controlling these victims this is how attackers use their command and control servers in order to compromise system that's why a lot of dots dos attacks are done with the help of your botnet so these victim one and two and three will be creating a botnet over here make sense so with cnc server he will be controlling v1 2 3 and collectively these v1 2 3 are known as your uh, this uh, botnet okay so when it comes to dos you have you to have to remember a couple of tools basically they are hoic and they are loic high orbit canon uh, high orbit and canon whereas your loic stands for these are a few tools, well known tools, which are used for your uh, DOS attack. Okay. 